was there, the latter did not hear him. Question. But there are arhats endowed with the six super-knowledges and when the Buddha preaches, even if they are not there, they can hear him with the divine ear and see him with the divine eye. If they really know things of the past by means of the memory of their earlier existences, how then would they not have heard the Buddha? Answer. The power of the Abhijnas of the Srivakas does not extend that far. That is why they do not hear him. Gandavyuha. Moreover. When the Buddha preached the Puko Sseu Yiki Ito King to the great Bodhisattvas, Sari Putra and Madhgaliyana who were at the Buddha's left and right could not hear because they had not planted the causes and conditions necessary to hear Mahayana things. Thus the ascetic and Diana who has entered into the absorptions of the spheres of totality can cause all the waters to change into fire, but other people cannot see this. The Prajnaparamita Sutra also speaks about the Bodhisattva wishing to receive retain entirely the speech of the Buddha. To receive is to be present respectfully. To reda and is to remain for a long time without losing. Triad Vibhuta Pravakana. Third section, hearing the teachings of the Buddhas of the three times. Sutra. Furthermore, O Sari Putra. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva must practice the perfection of wisdom if he wishes to understand, retain, practice and make known widely to others everything that the blessed Buddhas in the ten directions and universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges have said, are saying, or will say. Sastra. Dash. Question. Above the Prajnaparamita Sutra spoke of the Bodhisattva who, in order to retain and not forget the words of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions, must practice the perfection of wisdom. Why does it speak again here about understanding and retaining the teachings of the Buddhas of the Three Times? Answer. Above. The Sutra spoke of the Bodhisattva wishing to retain the teachings of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions in since one does not know what the teachings were, it specified that it was a matter of the twelve-membered scripture which this Ravakas heard or did not hear. Above the sutra mentioned only the Buddhas in universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges. Here it speaks of the teachings of the Buddhas of the three times as numerous as the sands of the Ganges. Above, it was a matter only of retaining, not forgetting, these teachings, and it was not a question of the benefits coming from this remembering. Here the sutra wants them revealed to other people. This is why the sutra has returned to this topic. Fourth section assuring one's own good and that of others. Sutra. Furthermore, O Sari Putra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva must practice the perfection of wisdom if he wishes to understand what the Buddhas of the past have said and what the Buddhas of the future will say in having understood it to assure his own good and that of others. Sastra. Dash. Question. It is possible to understand and retain the teachings currently given in the ten directions by the Buddhas of the present. But the teachings of the past have disappeared and those of the future do not yet exist. Then how can one understand them? Answer. I have already answered that question above but I must repeat myself here. The Bodhisattva possesses a concentration called concentration of seeing the Buddhas of the three times. The Bodhisattva who has entered into this concentration sees all the Buddhas of the three times completely and hears their teaching. Similarly also, some heretics and eminent hermits see and hear, by the power of their wisdom, the things of the past that, however, have neither form nor language. Furthermore, the power of the Bodhisattvas is inconceivable in Although the past has neither form nor language, they are able to see it and hear it either by using the power of the Dharanis or by inference by deducing the things of the past and the future from the present. This is why it is said here that, in order to obtain these results, it is necessary to practice the perfection of wisdom. Andhikara Vibhasana Fifth section Illuminating the Darkness of the Intermediary Worlds Sutra Dot. Furthermore O Sari Putra. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva must practice the perfection of wisdom if he wishes to illumine with his brilliance all the darkness of the intermediary worlds there where neither the sun nor the moon shines, in each of the ten directions, in the universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges. Sastra. Dash. 
When the Bodhisattva came down from the Tasita heaven into his mother's womb, his body emitted a radiance that illuminated all the universes and also the intermediary worlds, the places of darkness. In the same way also, at the moment of his birth, his radiance shone everywhere. In the same way also, he emitted a great radiance when he attained supreme perfect enlightenment when he turned the wheel of dharma and when he entered into parinirvana. In other circumstances as well, he manifests his great magical superknowledge and emits a great radiance. Thus, when he wants to preach the Prajnaparamita, he manifests his great Rddhya Bhijna by means of a great brilliance that illumines everywhere the intermediary world's places of darkness. Thus is his miraculous radiance spoken of in many places in the sutras. Question. But that is the power of the Buddha. Why are you speaking about the Bodhisattva here? Answer. Here it is matter of the Bodhisattva wishing to obtain this power and to practice the perfection of wisdom for this purpose. There are great Bodhisattvas who have this power. Thus the Bodhisattva Pianki, the Bodhisattvas Kawanchayin, Tatache Mahasthama Prapta, Mingkong, W.O.U. Liang Kaowing, etc. Have that power and their bodies emit an immense brilliance illuminating in the ten directions universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges. Great Sukhavati Vyuha. Thus, in the universe of the Buddha Mito, the Bodhisattvas emit a perpetual radiance illuminating a hundred thousand leagues. Question. Because of what action does the Bodhisattva acquire such a physical radiance? Answer. He has acquired this splendor thanks to the purity of his physical actions. Preta Sutra. As is said in the Sutra, there was a Preta whose head was like that of a pig and foul-smelling insects came out of his mouth. However, his body was golden in color. In a previous lifetime, this Preta had been a big suit, but he insulted a stranger monk with harmful words. Since as a bhiksu he had observed the pure precepts, his body had radiance. But, having uttered harmful words, stinking insects came out of his mouth. A sutra says that, according to the purity of mind, the radiance is superior, mailing or inferior. The Paratabas, Apramanabas, Abhasveras of the second Diana and the gods of the desire realm possess a radiance because, out of the purity of their mind, they make gifts and observe morality. Moreover, some people, out of compassion for beings, have set lamps in dark places. They have honored the holy images and shrines. They have offered shining things like pearls, windows, mirrors, etc. Semicolon. This is why their bodies have radiance. Moreover, by constantly practicing the mind of loving kindness and listening to all beings, the mind becomes pure and the body shines. Moreover, by always practicing the concentration of the recollection of the Buddhas and thinking about the high qualities of the Buddhas, one acquires a great bodily radiance. Finally, the yogin who constantly practices the sphere of totality of fire converts fools and people of wrong view by means of the brilliance of his wisdom. As a result of such actions, one acquires mentally the lucidity of wisdom and brilliance physically. As a result of such actions, one finds the purity of physical brilliance. Sixth section making known the names of the three jewels.